Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. Today I'm gonna be showcasing none other than Gigapets. We all know them from the 90s and these are the reboot with a whole new look. This is also my very first PR package since starting my YouTube channel. And of course I had to say yes when they contacted me because they're Gigapets. And they're right in line with my whole vintage toy vibe. I pretty much had every virtual pet when I was a kid because I wanted a real pet so badly. Tamagotchi, Talking Nano, and I even had the original Pixar Bugs Life Gigapet. That's definitely in the very back of my memory. So this is the PR package that they sent me. It did get banged up during shipping, but you can see that this is from Top Secret Toys. It has the Gigapets on the side, on the front, all the way to the other side. And of course the top of the box has this cute little graphic with all of the little Gigapets. Let's go ahead and open this up. Right off the bat, we see this little pamphlet from them. We also see the star of the show here. I'll get to this in a minute. This says, as we celebrate 25 years of magic with the original CompuKitty, we're thrilled to introduce the newest member to the cult classic brand. Unpack and unlock fun surprises in this box, including the newest Star Cat. The new and improved two-in-one Gigapet CompuKitty is up to its old tricks, but the new and mystical Star Cat is truly out of this world. Full of personality, surprises, and magic, with a celestial sparkle, kids of all ages will love the nostalgic classic play pattern combined with the new surprises with Starcat. Keep Starcat happy and healthy and it will answer questions and tell your fortune. I already love it because I love fortune telling. I'm all about witchcraft and tarot and auras. So here is Starcat, beautifully packaged. We're gonna go through the packaging in a minute after I unravel the rest of the surprises. And underneath all this tissue, we have more Gigapets. So here we have the dinosaur Gigapet. His name is Tech T-Rex and can't have a kitten without a puppy. This one is Pixel Puppy. And lastly, we have a unicorn. This one is just called Virtual Unicorn. We also have a couple 90s inspired goodies over here. They included this fuzzy pen. Some of us may have had this in the 90s. Pop Rocks, good old classic, Fun Dip Candy, Razzles. This reminds me of Halloween at school where kids would just give out random candy. We have some butterfly clips and I love butterfly clips. I'm wearing some right now. Blue Raspberry Lip Smacker. I have to smell this and see if it smells just like my memories. And it does. It really does. Good old slap bracelets. The thing that used to scratch our skin. They don't slap like they used to. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, still hurts. A troll and Furby sticker, how cute. A couple of these bouncy balls. They actually bounce pretty high. I just don't wanna do it right now cause I'm in a small room. And this sticky hand, who remembers these? Let's see how much hair we can pick up with this. It feels so gooey, just like I remember it. I'm kind of obsessed with this. Now it's time to show all of our Gigapets. First up, we have Starcat and CompuKitty. This one really is the star of the show. In fact, this was the only one that the PR company wanted to send me, but they decided to include the other ones, the Dino, Unicorn, and Puppy, simply because they're just nice, and I thought it would be really cool to show you all of them. First off, the packaging, very cute, love the designs, but it gives a lot of focus to the little virtual toy right in the middle. And it's also inside a crystal ball because we have this whole fortune telling thing going on. This is also their 25th anniversary edition. It says here that we also get two pets in one, and here we can see them. There's CompuKitty and Starcat. Starcat is the one that tells your fortune. He's already so cute. This reminds me of Artemis and Luna from Sailor Moon. Oh, and he's on a moon. On the back, here's all the things we can do. Name your pet, tame your pet, play games with your pet, and claim your pet. It feels so nice to be able to hold one in my hands. I've said time and time again that I love see-through plastic, see-through technology. This one has some glitter for added sparkles. Up here we have that Gigapets logo, and we have paw prints and star designs all around which fit our theme. And there's a fish bone down here. The buttons are bright pink, which makes a nice contrast against that neon yellow. We can also see a little bit of the screen, which shows a nice grassy background. And on the back we can see the little computer parts, the 
speakers and the battery compartment. And we pull this tab to start the device. We are going to be setting the time. Is this my name or the name of my pet? I'm just gonna put my name. I guess I can't fit all the letters. That's too bad. Here it looks like I'm supposed to pick between the two, I think. I'm gonna pick the black kitty. It's nighttime. It's a meteor. How cute. Oh, my little black kitty. Let's feed her, I guess. What is this, a pizza? Ooh, delicious. Now let's play. What is that? Oh. I'm not sure what to do here, actually. Hmm, I wonder what that was. That looks like the vet or health option. Fortune telling, let's see. Am I the prettiest and fairest in all the land? No! Well, that's that. She has spoken. We can bathe her, but she's not dirty right now. Heart. Let's see. Oh, her score is 88. I'm guessing this is the hunger level and health level. It's been a while since I've gigapetted. No, this is the health level. Zero years, two pounds. A bell. Let's see. Reward. Trick. Let's do a trick. Spell. Fly. Play. Transform. I'm guessing that wasn't the right trick. That looked more like play. Let's try to do another transform. Oh, she did not like that one. This one is a sad kitty icon. Whoa, what does that mean? Is that discipline? Well, that is pretty cool. Let's try this again. I'm not sure what this one was. Ooh, there's more options. What is that? A potion. We can make potions. That's so cool. Did it explode? I'm not sure what happened. A ninja? Oh, I'm supposed to dodge those. Give me some time here. I'll figure it out. Let's... Oh, there we go. Oops. These types of games stress me out. I prefer sim games, actually. She needs something. She needs a bath. She waves a magic wand. That is so cute. Definitely love her. Let's feed her again. Let's give her some tuna. Whoa, she took a rocket ship to the vet. <gasps> it's a wizard vet? Let's... Let's do another trick. Let's do fly. That one was transform. She definitely has quite a ways to go. She is a kitty after all, but the more we interact with her, the more she learns. Try another trick just before we get to the other pets. Cast a spell. Oh, kitty, you have so much work to do. Also, I just realized this is supposed to be the name of my kitty, not my name. Well, listen, it's been a while. My mind isn't right today. I just took an edible, so let's move on. So apparently you have to keep Starcat at at least 90% happiness, I think, in order for her to properly tell your fortune. So I'm gonna go back to the crystal ball. I'm gonna ask a yes or no question. Let me see. Should I eat a big bag of hot Cheetos tonight? And there you go. That's the proper no instead of the no we were getting before. I guess the no we were getting before is her refusing to answer the question. We also get a fortune once a day. And mine didn't come with an instruction book for some reason, but I was able to go online and figure out what each of the images mean. So this image is from geekygen.com and here are all the different fortunes. So the one we got is the waves and that one says, you are on a long journey, but that does not come without a few waves. Keep your head above water and you will reach your destination. And there's a bunch more that you can get. So 
When you check every day, you get a different fortune. That is pretty cool. Obviously, this is just day one. I haven't played her enough to see her grow. According to that website I just showed, she apparently goes through a couple evolutions. So I guess I'll just have to see and find out. And that's the gist of CompuKitty. I'm guessing you can choose between CompuKitty and StarCat. So in this case, I chose StarCat. I love her. I love the fortune telling aspect. Very easy to use, very low maintenance so far. I don't know if they're as chatty as Tamagotchi. We'll find out, I guess. But for the sake of time, we are going to move on to the other Gigapets. Before we do, I'm going to put her to sleep and see what happens. She sleeps on the moon. That is so cute. I wonder if she wakes up on her own or if this is pretty much how we get her to be quiet. Guess we'll find out. Up next, we have Pixel Puppy. Same concept, just a different animal and different look. Here he is on the bottom, all kinds of fun activities, and same concept on the back. Name your pet this time, Kirchi, not yourself. This one comes in dark purple. It's still a little bit see-through, but not as see-through as the yellow CompuCat one. And here we have dog-themed designs. We have dog bones, those 90s patterns with a triangle and swirls, and bright green buttons, which makes it kind of look like Barney, and I love it. And the same grassy, cloudy background. Same thing on the back. We pull the tab to start the device. <laughs> Same setup as the other one. It is a little bit hard to see the text here to guide you, but eventually you'll memorize what the buttons do. Now to name our puppy. Since I named the other one Kirchi by mistake, I should name this one George, after my husband. And it fits. There's little Georgie. How cute, it's a Dalmatian. I wish we could pick the species of dogs. Let's feed him a bone, dog food. You shouldn't be giving bones to your dogs, I hear, but this is a virtual dog, so let's see. Now we'll play a game. This looks like football or maybe a frisbee. Bouncy ball. Let's try this. What am I supposed to do? 12. Oh, am I supposed to chase it? Oh, wait, let's try that again. Not exactly sure what to do here. Maybe just let him run? Hmm. That one's gonna take some practice. What about this one? Why is this so hard? There you go! I did it! <laughs> I was pressing it. You have to press it multiple times, I guess. There we go. And he's happy. The only thing this one is missing is that crystal ball feature that StarCat had. Because of course this one is more like the original. Let's check the stats. Let's see what kind of tricks he does. Bark, roll over, hoop. He doesn't want to do tricks right now. Aww. This is discipline, so I'm not going to do that. Let's feed him again. Delicious. Maybe now he'll do some tricks. Let's do bark. <gasps> That's not bark. Let's do bark. <laughs> Did he just run into the screen? That was the cutest thing ever. Let's try it again. No, that one's hoop. Okay, we're gonna keep doing it till he gets it. <gasps> there we go! Reward. Yay! Good job. Let's see if he remembers that. <gasps> Good job. Reward. He seems to be less stubborn than StarCat. Let's play another game. Let's see. I still don't know what this one is. Oh, well, I'm supposed to... till he catches it, I guess. Oh, there you go. 
Am I pressing both? <laughs> he pooped! How adorable! So then we give him a shower. Oh no, we actually just brush it away with a broom. We didn't pick it up with a doggy bag, I guess. And one more time, let's check his stats. He's happy and we are good. So once again, let's go to sleep so we can check out the other Giga Pets. He goes in his basket. He snores. And that was the adorable pixel puppy. So far, they're both super cute. I don't know which one I like better. They're both different. They both have different functionality, different menus. So let's go ahead and check the other ones out. Up next, we have Tech T-Rex, which comes in red and yellow. This is what he looks like. Very cute. Same concept on the back. By the way, these do come with instructions, but I prefer to just go all in and see what happens. I love this one. I kind of want to eat it. It kind of looks like a cherry or one of those candies, cherry candy. You know what I mean. I love the color scheme. It feels very Jurassic. We have some leaves and silhouette of dinos. I think these are supposed to be cracks, like cracks in a giant egg and yellow buttons to match. Again, we can see the little computer parts inside, which is awesome. Now let's pull the tab. Setting the time once again. What to name our dino? I'm gonna be original here and call him Rex or Rexa because I accidentally pressed A and she hatches from an egg. How cute little Rexa. Let's see what she eats. A large mutton? An egg? Don't eat your own kind. I totally forgot that T-Rexes eat baby dinosaurs. All right. Oh, how terrible. He just ate Yoshi. Play a game. What kind of game do you play? Oh, this doesn't look good. You chase another animal? Is that a dog? This one? Let's try this. Oh! Smash things. I guess you have to press it twice, like a double click. There we go. She's happy. Now let's try this one. Oh, I guess we're chasing. Oh dear, just like the dog. What are we chasing? What does this look like? Still don't know if I'm pressing the right buttons. Now let's do some tricks. Roar. Nope, that's not a roar. Smash. I'm not sure that wasn't a smash. Jump, roar, smash, jump. That one looked more like a jump. Let's do smash. That was a roar. Come on, Rexa, you can do it. I believe in you. Wait a minute, is that a smash? I can't tell. Maybe that was a smash. Let's just give her a reward. More Yoshis. The humanity. Well then now I have to see what this one looks like. No more tricks, okay. Let's feed her again. What does this mean, is she crying? Well, let's give her some mutton. And check on her stats, 93. What does this mean? I do have the instructions, but I'm just gonna go by faith here. We're gonna go by faith. We can do it. A bath? Oh, discipline because because she's throwing a tantrum. Oh, it went up. Okay, so yeah, we do just have to discipline her because she is a bad dino. And now let's do another trick. Jump. Was that a jump? That's gotta be a jump. Oh, a big dinosaur poo. Let's clean it up with a broom like that's gonna do anything and we are good what is this happiness that's pretty decent let's go to bed rexa no more tantrums
she went back in the egg. That was a whole lot of fun. I love dinosaurs, so that one was definitely cute. Of course, we haven't seen any of them grow up yet because they are still babies, so I can't wait to see how this giant dino will look when she's an adult. And lastly, we have Virtual Unicorn. Very curious to see the functionality on this one. And here she is, looking super cute. Another adorable color scheme, very bright and happy. It's got a light blue see-through plastic with stars and rainbows and clouds, very unicorn theme, and bright pink buttons. Love how you can really see the computer parts on this one. Very distinct horse sounds. Once again, setting the time. Name of our unicorn. I'm gonna go with Star, because there's only so many letters you can fit here, and Unicornacia just will not fit. Beautiful rainbow. She came from the clouds. So gorgeous. Look at her. Happy. Smiling. What do unicorns eat? Cake, of course. And smoothies. Well, what else would they eat? Whoa, she got her wings when I fed her. Let's play a game. Let's see, what is this one? Oh, kind of like Space Invaders. I'm pressing the button and she won't move. Sometimes it's not as responsive. Let's see. Whoa! I caught that one. That was weird. Let's play this one. Whoa. Jumping too early. Woo. This reminds me of the Barbie horse game. I forgot what it's called. Does it just keep going? Oh, there you go. Yay, I did it! What happened to her wings? Let's do some tricks. Back legs. Oh. Well, that's probably not it. She doesn't want to do that one. Do I discipline her if she doesn't want to do it? That would be wrong. Let's try something else. The dab? Well, I don't think I want to see her do the dab. She doesn't even want to do the dab. Good. Let's feed her again. Let's feed her some cake. So she gets wings when you feed her. Let's try another trick here. Back legs. Oh, she loves doing the horn trick. Fine, let's do the horn trick since you love doing that one. No? All right, let's check her stats. I think she needs some discipline, maybe. Disciplining is always my least favorite part of these, but it does make your stats go up, so you have to do it. It does bring down happiness a little bit, but you just play with them and they're happy again. Let's try to get her to poop, so I'm gonna give her this milkshake so we can see some magical unicorn poop. Try to do some tricks again. Back legs. Oh, there you go, she did it. Reward. Oh, she needs a bath. How cute. We brush her, make her pretty. She loves it. Oh, and she pooped. There you go, there's the magical unicorn poop. Sweep, and that was that. Uh, what does this mean? Does she need to be disciplined? Hmm, I think that's it. Let's discipline her. She's having a little unicorn tantrum. She is still upset. Is she hungry, maybe? I'm yelling at her for nothing. What do you want? Are you sick? Let's go to the vet. Oh, she's tired. So it does give you a clue if you're like me and you can't figure out why she's upset. So she goes back to her rainbow cloud and goes to sleep. 
And here are all of them sleeping cozy in their little beds. I'd say these are very fun and simple, not as complex as Tamagotchi, definitely not as annoying, at least for now anyway. Since I filmed Starcat, she has stayed asleep as I filmed all the rest of them. I guess we'll see later if they all wake up at the same time. In person, each of these screens is a lot brighter, a lot crisper than what you're seeing on camera. Of course, I love the exterior. They just look so cute together. They have that collectability, displayability factor for me. And there are more on the Gigapets website. They have a fairy, which is so cute. I would love to get my hands on that. And they have a trolls one inspired by the 90s trolls. If you love virtual pets as much as I do, maybe not even to take care of them, but to just collect them, I highly recommend these. Since this PR package was specifically for Starcat and CompuKitty, I want to talk about her a little bit more. She is super fun and interesting. I love the fortune telling feature. I think it's just fun to ask yes or no questions, kind of like the magic eight ball. I personally love stuff like that. I think it's really fun. And of course, the exterior is so well designed. The glitter, it's just so beautiful. It's very girly and mystical, which is the whole theme of Star Cat. Not to mention, she's a super cute kitty. So I really do love this one. It's a good reboot. And that is it for our showcase today. I hope you guys enjoyed these gigapets as much as I did and thank you for watching this showcase and I'll see you on the next one.